Well, hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. And we are on it, September 29th, 2020. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Thank you for clicking on this video right now and watching, staying aware and prepared with Morning Dew. Welcome all of the new family members from around the world. Looking at our sun, we still have the active Earth-facing sunspot and Earth-facing coronal hole. Current solar wind speeds are at about 600 kilometers per second. Looking at outgoing images here, plasma and incoming. This is the last 48 hours of imagery. We've had quite an active 48 hours since we've had this increased solar wind speed. Earthquakes, volcanoes, uh, increased winds around the world as we've, we are being hammered by 600 kilometer per second winds. Looking here, you can really see that developed coronal hole. It is starting to diminish in the last few images there as it's turning away. But that's pretty much been the only activity. There was a small fiery region in the southern parts. Looking here at our real-time solar wind, we're steady at about 570 kilometers per second, but you can see it spiked to at a maximum of 647 kilometers per second. So very active indeed, as we had incoming CME and as well plasma filaments. Looking here at our Schumann resonance for today, power of 72, definitely seeing some energy. Amplitude power of 71, 7.28 Hertz. Looking here at earthquakes the last 24 hours, and as I said, it has been busy. We're going to start out here with the most recent earthquake in Puerto Rico, as we're seeing a swarm continue here for the last three days or so. Small earthquakes, but uh, large here, 3.9 today, as well as 4.5 reported here. El Salvador, many active volcanoes along Central America coast there. And then look at West Coast, California, up into Nevada. 3.3 being reported there today. Lots of California quakes. And as well, Stanley, Idaho, two 3.0 earthquakes. Crescent City, California, 3.1. 3.1 here in Juneau, Alaska. And still watching quite a bit of seismicity here. Minor rumbles at that, but large low pressure system affecting the Alaskan Peninsula right now. Overlooking Japan, volcano. Islands region 5.0, as well as 4.9 here in Indonesia, and a rare 4.5 being reported here in northwestern Australia. Now, if anybody's watching from Australia, Wickham, Australia just got a 4.5. Let me know if you felt that and tell me how rare it is. 4.4 there in Indonesia, 4.7 there reported in Iran. 4.9 here, South Shetland Islands, as well 4.4 in Chile. And then we get to the Tonga region where we've had these deep earthquakes recently. Another 4.5 today, a 485 kilometer depth. And as well a 5.1 Tonga, a 10 kilometer depth. So that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes around the world. And I wanted to point out these deep earthquakes that are starting to increase in frequency and depth. Deepest earthquake being 585 kilometer depth in the Tonga region this last little while, seeing many deep earthquakes in the past week or so. So stay aware and prepared. Just have a plan, everybody. Fear nothing but fear itself. Morning Dew is here for you, keeping you aware and prepared. Earthquakes. Largest this last week being the south of Africa 6.2. And as well, lots of activity North American plate. So stay safe and ready. West Coast, North America. Just looking at all these deep earthquakes, I am expecting a large shallow earthquake. Let's get to the Pacific Disaster Center here. Most recent volcanoes being updated. Looking at Sangay and Ecuador. And as well, we had a new volcano erupt 
in Chile and South America. We'll get to that in just a moment. Uh, Dokono in Indonesia. Sabincaya in Peru. Reventador in Ecuador. And then this is the uh, Lanquime, Chile. Uh, that's in uh, Argentina, just close to Chile. As well, Ibu in Indonesia, Semeru in Indonesia. So that's about nine volcanoes being updated the last 24 hours. And one brand new one, South America. We have two tropical storms to talk about. We have one which is in the West Pacific most likely will be turning into a category two as it heads northeast into the middle of the Pacific, not really affecting man at all. And then we have Tropical Storm Maria, who is going to be heading straight west, turning into category three. We'll have to see what happens as it rides the high pressure ridge that, that is hanging out on the west coast of North America. You know, and something I've been talking about for the past three years on my channel is watching the low pressure systems getting bigger and bigger. And I think we're really going to see some huge systems this this winter. As I'm looking at now, these large low pressure systems that are rolling into Alaska. Watch for an uptick in seismicity, by the way. And a strong high pressure, hot high pressure ridge hanging out over the west coast of the United States. Let's get to the five-day forecast brought to you by MeteorWorth. Meteo Mike with Morning Dew, starting out here, home base, Calgary, Alberta. As for the next couple days, we're gonna be, we'll see some cool temperatures, very cool in the morning, down to about three degrees. High pressure ridge hanging around south of us, and as well, a high pressure ridge coming from the north. Now it's gonna bring some really cool temperatures eastward as snow will be falling in Manitoba, Northern Ontario and Quebec in the coming week. Large low pressure system here affecting them on its way to Greenland. And watch for some vicious, vicious winds with this system. Tight, tight isobars and there it looks like there's about three low pressure systems wrapped up in there. So stay aware, prepared, my Ontario and Atlantic friends. And Overlooking the area of interest here in the Gulf of Mexico later in the forecast and as well off the coast of Africa, but nothing really to talk about in the Atlantic Ocean for hurricanes right now. This is a big deal though, as we have quite a large system heading from Iceland, heading into the United Kingdom, straight into Central Europe, and then back to the United Kingdom in the five day forecast. So you're looking at about five or six straight days of rain and some vicious winds as well. It'll be interesting to see what the millibars are on that storm as it heads into the coast. Overlooking Africa, daily evaporation rains heavier towards Nigeria and as well west coast region here this is going to be an area of interest later in the week as it probably will turn into a tropical storm but heading to spain so be ready spaniards big system coming your way overlooking south africa cool temperatures still hanging around but watch for a lot of rain to move in here high pressure ridge throwing a boundary line and a dropping a lot of rain from cape town eastward Overlooking Pakistan and up into Turkey, snow, India, dry, hot, and then Southeast Asia, looking at massive daily evaporation rains, lots and lots of moisture. As well throughout the Philippines, daily evaporation rains. Same here, Papua New Guinea and Vanuatu, but watch for heavier regions in Papua New Guinea. Looking at Tropical Storm Juno as it heads into the middle of the Pacific. And then, yeah, look at this large low pressure system. Ay, ay, ay. Our world is changing so much. Overlooking Australia, watch for the third band wave of one low pressure system that is south of you that has been spinning and moving 
around the southern hemisphere but this is now the third wave of moisture that's going to be coming in saturday into sunday i'm going to leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern just look at the size of this low pressure system here guys I think it's really about to get hectic. This is going to be a long, cold, and snowy winter. I appreciate all of the new subscribers from around the world, and I appreciate you watching. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun, and get your morning dew. Bye-bye. And don't forget to check out dailyeventsworldwide.com where you can get all the latest news and events and share your photos and videos. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.